everyone, how are you? I hope you are and having a really good day today. My name is Marina and today's video is going to be my high-end eyeshadow palette collection. I've got a ton of eyeshadow palettes and I've been wanting to do this video for so long and finally I have got time to film it for you. So make sure you watch this video in HD, the quality will be so much better. If you just click down here, you'll be able to change it. So I keep my higher-end eyeshadow palettes in kind of letter organizers oh my god this is so so heavy <sighs> this is like over 6 kg this is probably like ugh, 10 kg <laughs> this is from paper chase it's a really big letter holder and that's what I, oh my god shit that was heavy <laughs> and then i have got this one from wh smith which is really cute has little birds on this one's new and then I have a few just out because they don't fit in these. So I'm gonna go through this one first. So I also just keep some not high-end palettes in. These are just some Makeup Revolution ones, which I'm literally not gonna go through, but they just sit at the front of that. And then at the back, we have got, this isn't high-end, but I'm gonna just put it in here anyway. This is the Pretty Little Miss Grace palette by Sedona Lace. Um, it is gorgeous. And the brush it came with was gorgeous as well. Um, if you want a Sedona Lace coupon, use the code COOKIEXDOX and you get $4 off. Just throwing it out there if you want this palette or anything else. They do really nice brushes. But that is that. I just keep that in there so I just sort of show it. Next I've got the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette which looks like this. Also, if you want me to use any of these eyeshadow palettes in a tutorial or to give you a more in-depth review, please let me know and I'd be more than happy to do that. So this comes with a big mirror here and then here are all the eyeshadows. This is quite a neutral palette, so I don't reach for it as much, but this shade Punk is just so stunning. And this one as well is, oh no, that's, this is Punk and this is Serious. I love these so much. So I love that. I need to give this more love and a bit more playtime. Next I have got my Urban Decay Vice 3 palette, which looks like this. Again, I need to give this more love. But this palette is really pretty, but I hardly ever reach for it if I'm honest with you. Honest with you. But it looks like that and it is gorgeous, especially these like, this row here is just stunning. This is my most used row. It is gorgeous. Then I have got my Urban Decay Vice 4 palette, which I love. So the packaging for this is just so stunning. And then the actual colours are stunning as well. Really quite bright, which is nice. I need to give this more of a play as well. So many eyeshadows, so little time. I'm not at home every day. I literally wish I was, so I should use them all another one i know this isn't high end but it's in here so i'm just going to mention it now it's a morphe palette you could it's not high end but it costs shitloads to get here so it's expensive this is the 35 n palette it's all mattes and oh <laughs> it is amazing i love this so much i've been using this loads lately and um, you've probably seen it featured in some tutorials if you've been watching my videos so i'm just going to go on to these loose ones quickly so I have got the Disney Cinderella MAC Stroke of Midnight palette. This is so gorgeous. I love it. I will be doing a tutorial with this soon. I had one filmed probably like five months ago, but I lost the footage, which is annoying. But this is so stunning and I love it. Then I have got, I keep it in this Elf Elements packet, but these three are MAC and that's just Elf, but really pretty purples then I have got the Naked on the Run palette from Urban Decay I have done a kind of review on this but all I have left in here is the eyeshadows the blush bronzer and the highlight I like the highlight I like the eyeshadows these two are meh to be honest like I've got better but still nice again it's not high end but it costs a lot to get here these are my Makeup Geek shadows got flamethrower I don't know what this one is center stage a uh, bitten and I think that's cocoa fair but I love these and they're so pretty 
Then I'm going to move on to the big ass one you just saw, which is covered in glitter. <laughs> so I'm going to start with my naked palettes, which I have all of them. So I've got a naked one, which is gorgeous. I've got naked two, which was my first naked palette. Whoa. Which I just don't really use anymore, if I'm honest with you. Like, sometimes I do, but it's not one that I reach for. But it's still pretty, and I can't bear to part with it, even though I don't use it that much. Naked 3, which is my favourite palette ever. And then Naked Smoky, which again, I kind of wish I didn't get because I don't need it. But the colours are beautiful. Like, when I look at it, that is so, so beautiful. But I just don't love it. High is the most beautiful shade. This one's beautiful. Um, I like these two matte ones, but the rest kind of like the other matte ones are really hard to blend. So I don't know. I don't know. Why do I do it? I get so tempted. Then I have got the Sila in the Light eyeshadow palette, which I love. This is what it looks like. This shade Kissing is so stunning, as well as this one, Bubbly, which. I always put in my inner corner and then I always use this one in my crease. I need to use the other shades some more, but I absolutely love this. Next, I have got the Smashbox Shape Matted Palette. So this has got a brush, eyeshadow, um, eyebrows, contour, and eyeshadow. So I will be doing a kind of video of this soon. So yeah. Then I've got the Urban Decay Electric Palette, which is beautiful love that got the urban decay spectrum palette you will see a theme here i love urban decay so that's that and i use that on my eyes today there will be a tutorial of this so i'll link it down below next i've got this urban decay palette i think it was like the one of the anniversary palettes but it's really pretty it's got the, that that and then the shades down here are really pretty which i need to use more they're so pretty. Oh my god, did you just see that glitter fall? The next eyeshadow palette I have is the Urban Decay Book of Shadows Volume 2. This is so old. Actually, this is probably one of my first ever um, eyeshadow palettes. Um, I've had this for so long. Look at this beast. I just filmed the eyeshadow junkie tag and I should have mentioned this, but I just kind of forgot about it. Look how well loved this is, like have hit pan on three and this one and this one have been very well dug into as well as YDK. Love this, I cannot, I just love it. <laughs> Haven't used this in so long but I could never part with this because it was my first and I love it. Just surprise, surprise, Urban Decay. Um, I don't even know what this one is. This is, I think it was um, like an anniversary one, but it's very similar packaging to the um, Spectrum palette. Oh, it has Omen in as well, and Blackout, and Deep End. I basically have like three of these. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So the Spectrum palette has Omen and Deep End, which I have used today and yeah i bought this off someone but these two rows are just stunning and i love it and the last palette i have to show you is from too faced and it's a chocolate bar palette i do like this but i hardly ever use it because i'm really angry with the company because basically i bought this in america and um i've obviously paid what 40 dollars for it and it's completely broken and it can't be fixed um, and my eyeshadow has been like cut up from it basically I'm just gonna show you it like the colors are stunning but I've probably used this about three times and I have had this since March because I'm sorry but I can't travel with it um, it's just not convenient and I'm really really upset that the packaging broke considering it was expensive and I wanted to love this so much but i'm really disappointed and i contacted Too Faced and they were so rude about it they're like no we can't do anything basically which is sort of so rude i think um colors are really pretty but i just don't really use this because i'm pissed off with them it's gonna damage it even more but yes 
so see I can't even get this in like it's just a joke I'm really annoyed with that but so that is all of my higher end kind of eyeshadow palettes again don't forget to let me know if you want me to do a tutorial with any of them and very soon I'll be filming my kind of drugstore eyeshadow collection so I'll leave that link down below I do have a playlist with all my makeup collections some of them are really old but if you do want to see anything else let me know as well so thank you so much for watching guys please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video thank you for watching bye and today's video is going to be a video telling you a dupe for MAC mineralized, mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. So before we get into it, make sure you're watching in HD. Just click here and it will change to HD. Well, you've got to change it. But yeah, let's get into the video.